Hey guys, check this out. In this video, we're gonna be talking about pure technical analysis and really how our technicals have, have lined up perfectly with what has happened within the marketplace. As you see right here on the Bitcoin charts, our targets are almost spot on. Uh, what we're gonna do is dive in to see why we saw what we saw in the markets before it happened and how we were able to kind of correlate and align what's happening in the market from just a pure technical analysis standpoint. So you guys can see that and take advantage of learning the skill set to apply it to the next moves that are gonna happen within the market. So looking down here, uh, when price broke that 28,646 level, that was an indicator that, to be honest with you, there's no other level of support. So if you, <laughs> there's no other level of support until, uh, until 20,000. So how do we get the 20,000 mark? That's why. Because if you look look to the left of the charts, you don't see anything else. You don't see any levels of of, of price, you know, stalling or anywhere else uh, before that level, uh, $20,000 level. So that's kind of why we put that there. That's why we've had this on our chart exactly for weeks now. Um, despite all the emails, you guys telling me, oh, Bitcoin will never hit 30, never break 30,000. It happened. And we're kind of just sharing with you why we thought that and um, why, uh, you know, kind of giving you our game plan or, you know, if scenarios uh, for what may happen moving forward. So that's what's going to happen. We're leaving this upper until it's 20,000. We're close, but we're not out of the woods because uh, we're off by about $700 or so. Uh, you know, and we're off by about $700 with that wick. But Right now, uh, we see it pulling back, which I'm not too uh, too worried about. Even going to the daily time frame, uh, it's just it just fell off a cliff yesterday. Everybody saw it, but um, it's really you know it could be a slight pullback here, going back up toward that towards that. Uh, I would say going back towards maybe 26, maybe, or it could just keep falling off a cliff, you know. And there was a lot of fundamental. Uh, you know, news yesterday, you know, with Binance halting withdrawals with, you know, Celsius halting withdrawals that really triggered a sell off as well. So we'll see what happens there. But that's kind of and going back to Bitcoin real quick. But that's kind of our analysis here. When we look at the charts is we, we still have a twenty thousand dollar price target. <clears throat> I know some people are staying lower. Uh, but our next our next level of support, if we do break and close below twenty thousand, is twelve. You know, I'll give you I'll give you just the idea of what we're looking at here. Um, but I would say about twelve thousand even. Let's just say twelve thousand even um, <clears throat> will be our next. Oh, we already have that there as well <clears throat> with our next target. Uh, with Bitcoin here, so twelve thousand. If we break and close below twenty thousand, is our next target. Our next, our next call was ETH to eight hundred dollars. You know, I remember saying so. Um, I'm gonna keep that there. Uh, eight twenty two is is exact, but you know, we're just gonna say eight hundred dollars, uh, which is a little, um, a little different than what a lot of people were saying. But for us, you know, we just have eight hundred dollars. We're gonna stick to that and see how that works at this next level of support. So that's what we see with it uh, with Ethereum, and the why behind that is you're just looking for levels of support and resistance. It's pure. It's a pure support resistance play because it's almost like psychological barriers uh, for what happens or you know uh, what you know people do at certain price points. You know emotionally, so they emotionally buy or emotionally sell. Uh, typically, you know that's where we get these support and resistance zones from. So with that, that's what we're seeing here. And uh, right now it's pulling back, pulling down, uh, and uh, $800 level is is a good is a good enough zone for us, and that's what we're looking at with Ethereum. You know, I know you guys are you know emailing me, messaging me saying, oh, you know, you know this will never happen. You know, Bitcoin will never break thirty thousand, but you know the technicals were showing were showing something different because we did break, and you know this all started for us when price broke below that wick below when price came here this was critical this was a critical level for us right here and so you guys say oh how did you know how, how were you able to take advantage or take profit you know before the drop well it was it was mainly looking at the support and resistance so that's what we're going to 
kind of, you know, try to drill into you guys to understand what we look at so you guys can have pure technical analysis like we have had, fortunately. Um, looking at Cardano, Cardano here, uh, really respecting this level of 44 cents. Uh, we do have a support level of 40 cents here, uh, even without the fibs on the charts. We have the level of uh, support sitting at 40 and what's next so if we do break that level that 40 cent level i don't even want to know what's going to happen if we break the 40 cent level because the next stop is 17 cents so uh yeah will that happen i i can't even call it right now to be honest with you i know all you guys are wanting me to make a call um just because of how we've done so far this year with uh the ta perspective but um you know because we keep it super simple guys i'm not using all these banners and scanners and all this nonsense i i just don't have the time for it to be honest with you um but uh our next step if cardano breaks 40 cents our next target is 17.175 so uh that's kind of what we would we, we be looking at and i I would hate to, I, I hate to say it I really do I you know but it's it's the reality it's if we break that's that's our scenario for Cardano if we break 40 cents and we're heading to 17 cents and um, the same thing with with ethereum as well I mean ethereum is you know did break so I have ethereum going eight hundred dollars and that's that's just a scenario you know it's just what the market is giving us it's what's happening in the markets um, and like I said, with Bitcoin, a lot of people are saying eight. I just don't I don't have any anything, any data to constitute me saying eight thousand. So I, I don't know. I'm not sure with that yet. We'll look at that as we'll look at that and see if we break these two levels right here. And then we'll go into that. Looking at Ripple. Ripple did break. Let's see if it broke and closed on the daily. It broke through um, and closed below on the daily. So, you know, my my sentiment is you know finding that next level of support so where's that next level of support that we can look at as a target um until really until proven otherwise right so uh our next look my next level of support it's a it's a choppy one it's a choppy one I'm, it's it's really a choppy one um is 25 cents uh it's a choppy one but i would even pull that down a little bit more and just we can just go to 22 22 cents is the target now for ripple as well it's just look at these charts these charts are, are crazy and uh you know what we'll be waiting for is you know create a new all-time high which we haven't even in even in that bull pump when everything pumped up within you know the markets uh ripple never made a new all-time high so um since 2021 it didn't i mean even no actually that first one when it first came out was was a the official all-time high that was like i missed out on that i remember that uh three dollars and fifty cents i i remember that i'll never forget that when i first got into crypto so um taking a look at that that's kind of our target here right now um and that's what we're looking at uh it's it's buying season right this is when you know millions are made this is when you know financial freedom is made in markets like this and we've been talking about this every day every week uh, take advantage of you know the sell-offs because this is this is when it's made. This is when you accumulate. This is when you take a significant positions in the markets to ultimately be able to take advantage of the bull run. Because now you know when I got into crypto, this is like normal. So like this doesn't even phase me anymore. But uh, but at the same time, you know for people that just got into crypto and you know you bought at a price and now you're down. Uh, you know what we do is we hold. So we hold. Uh, you know, follow the rule. Don't buy near all-time highs. Um, so pretty much, the price has never been there before. Don't buy. Uh, so even with Ripple, I mean, you're down, but still, you're nowhere near the all-time highs. So ultimately, you're in you're in a you're in a better position than than most people that bought back in uh, 20. What is that? 28 to like winter 2017, um, going into January 2018. And that's kind of, you know, our technical analysis. So you guys can see, you know, we're looking for levels of support and resistance. And that's kind of how we've we've been able to, to be in tune with the market and be in tune with what's going on. Uh, even when, you know, we're getting messages from you guys telling us we're crazy. It'll never happen. 
uh, we just stick to the charts stick to what's happening on the charts so you guys can see and ultimately see how it plays out for us and so you can apply the same uh, techniques if that works for you within your own analysis so that's our technical Tuesday for today hope you guys got some value out of the video please comment your thoughts and where do you think prices will go? These are our targets here um, right now. Um, I think, I don't think one more, you know, pump down is is off the table, um, especially if we, if Bitcoin does break 20,000, as we know, everything is contingent upon Bitcoin, uh, the, the success or failure of Bitcoin, as you guys know, right? So um, if Bitcoin br uh, breaks that 20,000 zone, then I believe that the target we have for Ethereum at $800, it will hold true. The target we have for Cardano at uh, 17 cents will hold true. The target we have with XRP at 22 cents will hold true. So hope you guys got some value out of this video. Keep moving forward in everything that you do. And we'll see you soon.